definitely not the best time to be driving through St. Louis, Missouri. But it's not only St. Louis, Missouri that has this traffic. Out here in the middle of nowhere, Tennessee, en route to Nashville, you're sitting in traffic. And traffic in Atlanta, Georgia. I mean, well, there's nothing new here. But it's my final destination on this trip. You know, I just found out something pretty fascinating doing a Google search. You have one hour and zero minutes of remaining drive time. And, and no, that my drive time wasn't it. There are over 260 million guns, registered guns, in the United States. 260 million guns. You know how many cars there are in the United States? The same exact amount. 263 million cars. That's odd, isn't it? The same amount of guns and weapons in the United States equals the same amount of cars. I, I don't know what that means, but I found it fascinating reason I googled it was, well, there was another school shooting today. Another day, another shooting. You know how like on Harry Potter or Bewitched, Samantha or Harry would ride a broom around? That's what I'm seeing in this traffic jam. I mean, not, not brooms, not that these people are riding brooms, but I'm trying to picture as every single vehicle as a gun, not a broom, a gun. And the people are riding the guns like like they were brooms. And that, that's just a big broom right there. A big gun, a big gun. What doesn't look like a gun though, is this. So look at that. The Chucky car. Hi, I'm Chucky. Want to play? Look, Chucky's even in the window. Well, I finally made it out of traffic to an undisclosed location in Stone Mountain, Georgia. I, I, I can't show you the building, but it's right there. I would take you guys outside today. It's not going to be an outside vlog at the moment. I mean, it's pretty nice outside. It's like 60 degrees, but it is extremely windy. My truck is walking right now. And if I took you guys outside, all you would get is that bombardment of terrible noise across the microphone. And I know you guys can't really tell that it's windy. I mean, you can't really see the wind. I mean, the water tower isn't bowing right or left. You're just going to have to take my word for it. I am picking up a very, a very top secret, I mean something I have to keep top secret because once this stuff is in my trailer, I could pull out here onto the roadways and get about five miles down the road and some people with guns, the stuff that started this whole conversation today, could pull me over, blow me away, and take the product that I'm going to have in the trailer, those high dollar loads. And sometimes you can't really specify what you're hauling. I mean, if I'm hauling milk or eggs or pillows for Walmart or something like that, not a big deal. But there are certain things that truck drivers haul that you have to take special precautions. And I can't tell you what those special precautions are just yet. Just yet. But I will tell you in this video what was... Because a lot of people don't know that uh, there are certain things that we haul out on America's roadways that uh, people would kill for. Kill. Well, I left the warehouse I'm picking up and any one of these vehicles here could be a road pirate ready to pounce on my trailer. I had 
have to say, Atlanta, Georgia has some pretty sweet vehicles driving down the freeway. Strange vehicles in I have made it more than 250 miles away from where I just picked up. So now I can tell you guys where I am. I am now in Tennessee. Check this out. Before I get back in my truck, look at look at what they got here for you. Look at that. I could just walk up and clean my shoe before I get back in the truck. I have flown my drone up on that hill before. There's a Ferris wheel buried in those woods. Now what I couldn't tell you guys back where I was picking up my load is where I was. I mean, I told you the town, it was Stone Mountain, Georgia. The reason I couldn't tell you where I, the establishment I was at is because as a truck driver, sometimes we have to pick up things that are, well, things people want. Over the last 30 years, I've hauled things such as currency, money, U.S. currency, haul stuff like that, you usually get a police escort. Sometimes you have to haul things like pharmaceuticals. And lots of people want that stuff. Would you look at this? North Cumberland. Kind of cool. Looks like you got a little cell tower road up here. But I know if I went up there, it would head up to that ferris wheel that's in the woods over there. Look at this place. That's one of the few islands I have to go What? 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 Oh, shush. Anyway, so yeah, sometimes you'll have high dollar pharmaceutical loads and the companies make it to where you are not allowed to stop within the first 250 miles of your pickup. And the reason for that being is, well, a lot of cars can't go 250 miles on a tank of gas. These trucks, we can go a thousand miles. So we can just go and go and go. So if someone's tracking you, getting ready to rob you for that Viagra that you might be carrying or whatever, aspirin, what, whatever, whatever, the cat's going crazy up there. They're not going to be able to keep up with you because they have to stop and get fuel. So that's just one of the things uh, when you when you're a truck driver. Just some there, there's things out there that people don't know that we have to do and deal with for security reasons. But then once you get past that 250 mile mark, you could stop, get your coffee, go to the bathroom, and do a quick little walk around. And, and that's what I just did. All right, everybody, I'm going to go ahead and sign off. I got to travel and get on up to Ohio. And uh, from there, Minnesota. That That's that's all I know. Look at this thing. Look at that cat. No, no. No, I was going to show them you playing with the weeping angel. Yeah. Yeah. Cats. Pets. I'm going to do a whole video on pets on truck in trucks because... It's something I'm not used to. There are a lot... Head northwest on Luther Cyber Lane. A lot of things I was not prepared for when I got this thing. No. Yeah, I wasn't prepared for you. All right, everybody. Until the next one, I love you all. Peace out, everybody.